From setting aside that for the moment, just say like on the custodial side, how different is it now in terms of that infrastructure having built out than it was, say, six months ago? We uh, we're seeing institutions bring in technical capabilities to address this. Uh, there are a number of startups or maturing companies that are coming out with such institutional offerings. So we're getting there. Um, and I imagine we're going to be seeing some more institutional announcements you know, this year or the following with regards to offerings that they can provide in that space. But they've got a, there's, the, we're seeing some very exciting companies come out in the space and some announcements that you've seen in the press of, of these institutional offerings. It feels like there's some sort of like convert. So he's made a great point and I'm going to agree with him that we have seen some development. So um, if you were talking to me in February or even when we hit the first bottom, um, I did feel like it was going to be a while. And like I said, that's why I made the prediction that we should see the prices go back to 850 billion, if not 1 trillion by the end of the year. And there is being progress made like he had just mentioned. But like I said, sometimes this progress can be delayed, it can be slow. And that's why I've recommended that if you are going to be investing in cryptocurrencies, you really got to go with a long term out uh, long term mindset, because this infrastructure, it could take longer than expected. I still think it will be set up and ready to go by the end of 2018, but I wouldn't be surprised or shocked if it does take till 2019. And we may not even see a bull market until uh, 2019 and crypto prices could remain low and kind of dead until all of this infrastructure is set up for institutions to be able to actually invest in cryptocurrencies. But um, at the same time, uh, it could be done faster and the bull market could come sooner. So uh, no one really has a magical crystal ball. But what I do recommend is that you subscribe to this channel and you obviously continue to educate yourself about cryptocurrencies, continue to follow the market. And I do feel like that opportunity is coming. But until we have clear funds and institutions that are set up to be able to do this crypto stuff, um, crypto trading and investing, uh, I do feel like it's a good opportunity to buy, especially as prices go down, because once um, it is done, the market, you know, the market moves really, really quick and it will be priced in and you're not going to be able to get prices like this. Um, but like I said, uh, it, it could take longer than expected. And this could be something that takes uh, until the end of the year, um, past the end of the year, you know, it could be 2019. Um, but I really doubt it would go past 2019. I mean, I think it's going to come sooner than expected. But let me know your thoughts on this, and I will talk to you guys soon.